Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to create this rounding off in V-Ray for SketchUp without having to use any SketchUp plugins. All right, so to get started, what I'll do is I close all of this and you can notice that I've made a box here and I've given a SketchUp color. So that's the first thing what you need to do. Now, this is just for demonstration. You can, of course, use this process in your interior scenes to create the rounding off effect. Now I'll show you how to create the rounding off. So let's open the asset editor. So first thing what you need to keep in mind is when I go to my settings here, the rounding off generally works in QR or RTX. I did try in CPU, but it didn't show up in the interactive render. So always stick to QDA or RTX. If you have a good graphic card, uh, I have an RTX 3070 graphic card, so I will stick to RTX. I will also show you whether it works in CPU or not, but in most cases it shouldn't work. All right, let's go to materials. Let's go to our material here. So you can see I've added a texture on top of the bump map and that texture is called the edges texture. So this is what helps create the rounding off on the edges. So what I will do is I clear this, right click clear and I'll add it again. So let's click on the texture slot. Now you'll find all these textures here. There are procedural textures and the bitmap textures and so on. So let's scroll to the bottom and you'll find the edges texture. So let's select the edges texture. So you can see we have this kind of a procedural texture added on top of the bump map. Now you can also add this on top of any image if you like to create rounding off of the image, which is of course your bitmap. So let's increase the width here and I'll show you how it affects the scene. So let's start the interactive render. All right, so you can already notice that there is some rounding off, which is about 0.1 units. Now, when I start increasing this, you can see the rounding off increase. So this is a convex rounding off. Now, there are also concave rounding off in V-Ray for SketchUp. So I'll show you the difference between these two. So let's stop the interactive render. What I will do is I will create an extra box here. So let me just make a rectangle and push this up. Now let's run the interactive render again. All right, so now you can notice that at these edges here, we have that concave rounding off. Now, if you want to show only concave, you can do that as well in the settings. You can see the corners here. Let's set this to only concave only. So now you can see it's only concave and these edges are sharp again. Now, if you want only convex, you can do that as well. So let's change the corners from convex only. And now you can see all these edges here are convex in nature. So that's the rounding off only at these edges. If you want the concave edges, then you can select convex and concave. And then both these edges will have that rounding off effect. All right, so this is how you can add rounding off in V-Ray for SketchUp. And you don't have to use the round corner plugin since that will slightly increase your model size because it's increasing the number of subdivisions. But if you're using this method, then you can retain your SketchUp file size and also create rounding off for your edges. This is a great way to add realism in your scene, especially for interior shots where you would like to have highlights. You can see these highlights on the edges. Oops, I forgot to show you guys if CPU works. So you can see the rounding off is coming with our CUDA render engine. So let's stop the interactive render. Let's go to settings, stick to CPU this time. And let's run the interactive render. Yeah, like mentioned, it doesn't show up in the CPU render engine mode. So always try to use CUDA and RDX. That's about it. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see me in the videos, then please do drop it in the comments and I'll show up in my videos. I think it adds that extra life in tutorial videos, which are otherwise just screens. So please do let me know in the comments and I will keep showing up in my videos as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.